on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on collision this? Collision is imminent. All stop, now! Cat ships. A dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. Where is the one who activated the Remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? <sighs> Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. We have to land. <sighs> Open a comm. Tove, Jagalesto. Tove, Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Av, Naleseto. They've sent us a nap point. Set us down. Yes. Ha, <laughs> look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? I am the ghost. Nathan Roa.
I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Hmm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. We're going to try and handle this. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting outside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak. No. I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then, you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day with everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. 
I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us, why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant, recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault, but now the Ket have her. And our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us. And you. Let me show you what I can do. I won't take one step without your approval. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The Angara learned years ago the perils of messing with vaults. So did the Ket, for that matter. We're done here. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. Stars above! It's you! I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life, why did you do it? I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajawa, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with the new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> it gets better? Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew.
I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. <laughs> Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... Just listen up. Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's Nangara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval? ...is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become... ...wild and... ...dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking! We've... ...recently lost contact... ...with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's... do this. So... Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. And you're alien to us. So there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to 
Get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up, uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. This was good. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. <laughs> Let's talk more later. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. You still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Bridges four, engine rooms aft. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Maybe if we get a break from duty. A little distraction can be useful. Let yourself wander a bit. You might come back sharper. Next time we pulled up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. And Jal. That book hasn't even been written yet, has it? Exciting. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem... busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right! Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You're off the hook, PB. 
Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. It's damned lucky there was a path through the Scourge right there. Yeah, we can't count on ever being that lucky again. So, what else is new? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari Huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory, while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Take her down, Kalo. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6, vold to the Angari, is ice. And those oceans, frozen over completely. Oh, there goes the dream of a seaside property. It's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. to get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. Good to see you again, Commander Dozeal. And you, Jal. This is the alien. The one you think can help us. Yes. This is Ryder, of the Andromeda Initiative. I am Anyik Dozeal. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. I have no intention of betraying you. 
Say what you want. It is the hands that reveal true intention. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Jarl, watch them. And be careful yourself, my friend. Hmm. I always am. Whoa! Didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Ryder has a name. You named it? How do you even tell them apart? Stars, Beniska, just stop talking. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I'm here to help your people. Know anyone who needs it? We've got reports from Hajara about someone trying to rescue a kidnapped family. See those red lights? That's it. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh... I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. Those red lights, you said that's Hijara? Yes, Hijara Station, one of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. How do they live out there? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the Ket attack? We've adapted to that, too. The Ket want to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Environment... Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hujara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right. We've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Kaya kept base. You're that alien people have been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight Cat, that's good enough for me. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Cat kill people. They take our families and we never see them again. Anyone who fights against that has to be better than them. So, will you fight them? I know the location of the labor camp where they took my uncle. What's a Cat labor camp for? Different things. They put people in cages there. Sometimes they make them work. Sometimes they collect Angara, and once they have enough, they move them. And sometimes they just kill them. My father died that way. I'm so sorry. 
Don't be sorry. Make sure I don't lose more family. I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. Just in time. Ought to have given us another day at most. No thanks for Rana's jabs. If the cat can't handle being called mildly insulting things, that's on them, not me. You see what I mean? We owe you. How'd you find us anyway? Your nephew Ski Out was trying to get you rescued. Good boy. He's got potential, Nilge. So you've said before. The resistance needs to be debriefed. We'll head back to base as soon as possible. What about the data drive? We have to deliver it to Buxel so she can start the analysis. Interesting. It seems we have to depend on our rescuer for more than a rescue. Can you deliver this drive to Tedjiks? If we work together, no time will be wasted. What's in the drive? A ket code we stole while trying to infiltrate their command center. The ket never realized how much we downloaded off their network. I'll go there as soon as I can. Perfect. Buxil will be in her workshop. I hope we meet again, under better circumstances. This is big. Liberating key resistance agents and recovering information they stole from the Ket. You've put many doubts about you to rest, Ryder. Even Ephra must now be convinced of your intentions. What about the data drive Nilge entrusted to us? Good point. If you prefer, you could go to Tetchik's now and speak to Ephra later. The choice is yours. I need to get this data drive to Tetchix. I can deal with Ephra later. I thought you might say that. Very well. We'll talk to Ephra when you're done with your tasks here. I'm so... Are you Buxel? I have something for you. From my brother who can't stop being a hero? Yes. Anyik told me to expect you. My son Skiot said he'd sent people after Nilge. I thought more lives lost. Nice to see I was wrong. Thanks for getting him out. Losing him would have set our efforts back months. Losing family is hard. I'm glad I could spare you that pain. Thank you. They talked about your abilities, but no one said anything about your kindness. Oh. <laughs> now, let's see what we have here. Stars and skies. This is... This is a layout of the Ket Command Center. Entrances, exits, security. We'll be able to cripple their operations. Wait, there's something else here. Oh, that's not good. What? The base entrances are shielded and locked with a code which changes often. Metadata tells me they downloaded this weeks ago. The code is about to change again. If an attack is going to happen, it needs to happen now. Let me help. Tell me what to do. The code to disable the security shields is encrypted, but I'll keep working on it. I've sent you the map and a nav point for a side entrance that won't have as many guards. Go quickly. We'll be in touch. Congratulations, Pathfinder. Send someone to this the was resistance a real camp. challenge, we'll give them our extra and supplies. badly needed. Director Addison, no personal appearance? Placing an outpost is a big deal. Thank you, but no. I prefer climate control to these extremes. Real talk, Pathfinder? I, as Governor Shai, is already up my ass about this outpost. If local Angara weren't on board, we'd have a problem. We are good, right? As much as you've brought us, we can't afford to anger the neighbors. It's fine, Director. I ticked three or four of the necessary boxes. You enjoy testing me. But results are what matter, and I respect it. Vold helps. Cold as it is, it changes estimates in our favor. But the initiative needs you to find more. We're never really done, of course. Survival isn't something that just... ends. And there's another matter. A ceremonial one. A statement for the Archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? Vold is more than anyone anticipated. The Ket in their failure, the Angara in what they can recover. And for us, it's already a different kind of frontier. We needed supplies. We found partners. Recorded, Pathfinder. 
Addison out. 